Hi, welcome to this small tutorial about the GSC H20. As you may know, uh, the light will come with the inverted polarity. So, um, well, it means that you have absolutely need to use the uh, USB charging cable provided. So, if you want to use some extra uh, batteries from another brand and so on, you, you will need to mod it. So, the basic mod to do, uh, given by uh, RFC Group member, is to uh, first uh, swap the uh, rotate by uh, 180 degrees the connectors, okay, like this, and also to uh, swap the two uh, batteries in this uh, mini uh, GST connector 1.25 mm. So I will start by uh, unscrew the uh, uh, the uh, exacopter. Okay, I will start to, to remove screws. So you have eight screws to remove, which easy. You, you will need a small uh, screwdriver to do the job. As you already notice, uh, uh, a drill hole in the top canopy part to install the antenna vertically. It helps to increase the range. Uh, you can have something like uh, 50, 100 meters like this now. So it's working pretty well. Okay, uh, two more. For but I call it. Um, so uh, when you remove the prop guard, you have a space between uh, the upper part of the motor port and the lower part. So don't uh, tighten your screw too much because you will uh, probably uh, uh, introduce some stress in this plastic. So okay, so maybe you can use a very thin part of papers or I don't know plastic to make a kind of spacer if you want. Okay, so I will remove the lower part, and now I it will be much more easier to access to the uh, to the um, uh, connector. So I will gently uh, press on it, okay, in both sides, and little by little I will be able to. To raise it, as you may see, it's coming very fast. And after, you can just pull it with with hand, invert it, okay, and reinstall it by pressing. Okay, it's done. Uh, so now I will um, reinstall the. Um, well, before to reinstall, I will do the job on the lipo now. So uh, be aware. Um, in theory, you have just need to uh, pull up the plastic. Uh, Part there. Be aware to not touch with a screwdriver. So use maybe something not metallic to uh, pull out these plastic uh, uh, legs here. Okay. Okay. I will use this very thin twizer and uh, some magnifier to raise the pad. So uh, be sure to start by the side. Sorry. So um, you have to uh, while uh, raising the pad. Try to uh, pull out the, uh, for example, the black wires. So we try to do it gently. You need a tooth, very small one. Okay, like this. I raised and try to pull out. Okay, so the one is down. Uh, install some electrical tape to isolate your your stuff. Okay, I will use some normal uh, tape. Okay, just a fraction of second in order to when both will be removed. So, okay, just for the black one, just a fraction of a second. So now you can do the, the other one more uh, carefully, well, without risk. Okay, I will look at, so. One, one fraction of a second. And not yet, sorry, he will come. Okay, now it's done. I will invert the connector. So to be sure uh, which sense is it, for example, take the quad and uh, the accessory and you can see that you have a, uh, the mark of the port 
okay on this nano so for example if you can read it's written plus the plus it should be on the uh, left side so it means that your connector now you invert it should be installed like this okay so it means that the plus should be installed on the left okay like this Small hole. Like this, and it's done. So now you can re reinstall the uh, second one. Like this and now it clips and it is uh, is okay so to be sure you have to have the plus on the left and the and the ground on the right so if I'm plugging you can see it's working well so the job is done so now you have just to reassemble the quadcopter now you can charge with the uh, a normal uh, battery charger so be aware no more use this charger anymore